Like and subscribe right now or you will wake up with this spider right next to you. Sharks are very extraordinary creatures that can be found in oceans all across the world. They are known for their ability to sense blood from up to miles away. If you ever come across one, it is important to remember to keep your distance and be very careful. Some sharks love to interact with humans while others may want to eat you for dinner. However, no need to worry, sharks normally only feed on fish by circling their prey, closing in, and often attacking in groups. There are many stories of people with scary shark encounters, many of which were captured on recording. So now, let's jump into the video and check out 10 shark encounters gone terribly wrong. Number 12, Beach Adventure. A 17-year-old tuba player named Barry Wilson was in around 30 feet of water when a friend saw strange movement and started to investigate. The shark apparently threw him out of the water into the air, then proceeded to drag Wilson underwater for minutes. While Barry attempted attempted to get away from the vicious shark and fight for his life, his friends eventually came over, and while they did manage to pull him away from the shark and back towards shore, which by the way took over 30 minutes as they had to fight the current, the violent shark decided to circle them the whole way back. You know, those are some brave friends if you ask me. Wilson's extensive injuries meant that he unfortunately didn't survive his journey to the beach. Also, something little to add, this was the first shark attack ever reported in California in history, and the attack took place in 1952. Number 11, Great White. Dave Quinlivan was at the beginning of an hour and a half long ski paddle adventure when he noticed the dolphins around him starting to get spooked. Thinking nothing of it, he continued on with the paddle. After about an hour into his expedition, Quinlivan suddenly realized his mistake. A great white shark leaped out of the water, attaching itself to Dave's ankle. Got it clean, says Quinlivan. I reckon I was on this ski for him for about 10 seconds at least, because he took another adjustment and got my leg right into the corner of its mouth. Quinlivan managed to get back on the ski, but knowing that was the wrong decision to make and a shark attack, he managed to make the life-saving decision to then get back into the water and swim away with a sense of control. His actions worked and the shark stopped its attack, swimming away. Dave then managed to get to shore with his serious injuries and a lifeguard treated him while waiting for paramedics to arrive. Luckily for this guy, he not only managed to survive, but he is now a firefighter and lives to tell this incredible story. Number 10, Out to Sea. This next one is a first-hand account of Rodney Fox, a spear fisherman who was bitten on the torso by a shark and dragged into the water. As he was dragged 30 feet underwater, Fox gouged the shark's eyes and repeatedly kicked it in the face. When he needed to breathe, he let go, made his way to the surface, and that's when he turned and saw the shark's head following him upwards. I'm looking through the pink of the water, through my own blood, and taking huge, huge breaths of air. And through it, I see the head getting bigger and bigger as the seconds pass. The shark had Fox's arm in his mouth, and when he pulled the arm out, his skin was shredded down to the bone. Finally, after nearly drowning, Fox got free and was pulled into a boat. His bones were visible on his right hand and arm. His rib cage, lungs, and upper stomach were all completely exposed. His rescuers kept his wetsuit on, which kept his internal organs from spilling out, ultimately saving his life. Fox underwent four hours of surgery and received 462 stitches to put his skin back together. Instead of staying on dry ground after his experience, Fox now works with Planet Shark, diving, educating, and entertaining for a living. Number 9, Surfing Attack. One of the most famous surfers on the planet and the subject of a Hollywood film, Beth Bethany Hamilton's shark attack must be one of the most famous in all of history. The surfer was riding waves at the age of 13 when a shark came up beside her and bit into her board, taking her whole left arm with it. The bite was actually so quick and clean that Hamilton reportedly didn't even realize what had happened until she heard her friend screaming and then saw the red in the water around her. Her friends were able to apply a tourniquet and get help, but she lost over 60% of her blood and endured many surgeries in order to recover. Quickly rushed to the shore, Hamilton was taken to hospital where her injuries were quickly seen to. Remarkably, losing her arm did not dissuade Hamilton from surfing and within a month of her attack, she was back on her surfboard. In 2005, Hamilton won her first national title at the National Scholastic Surfing Association National Championships. Her story later
later became the basis for a big budget Hollywood movie called Soul Surfer. She has since become one of the most successful female surfers of all time. What a legend. Number 8, Devoured. Robert Pamperin has one of the most interesting shark attack stories, as he might be the only documented person in history to be totally devoured by a great white shark. Robert was diving off the coast of San Diego, California in 1959, swimming about 50 feet away from his diving partner, when all of a sudden, the partner started to hear his screams. Turning towards Pamperin, the diving partner saw him being held completely out of the water by a gigantic shark that he estimated to be more than 22 feet long. The shark then dragged Robert under the water and into the depths. Search parties were called in straight away, but could only recover Pamperin's inner tube and swimming fin. Number 7, Havana Harbor. Possibly the earliest ever reported shark attack in history, the painting depicts a shark attack that happened in 1749 in the Havana Harbor in Cuba to a 14-year-old boy called Brooke Watson. The shark attacked twice before Watson was rescued. The first time, the shark removed flesh from below the calf of Watson's right leg. The second time, it bit off his right foot at the ankle. Watson was rescued by his shipmates, but his leg unfortunately had to be amputated below the knee. Watson recuperated in a Cuban hospital and recovered within three months. The portrait was painted 30 years later to capture the event. Number 6, Protective Dolphins. Rob Howey was swimming with his daughters off the coast of New Zealand when he became suddenly baffled to find out that a school of dolphins had circled around them. As they played with the wild dolphins, Howie suddenly realized that an unmistakable dark shadow and fin was swimming towards them. The family had nothing to worry about, however, as the dolphins stayed and kept a protective circle around them until the shark finally gave up and swam away. The dolphins did not leave the scene until all the swimmers were safely back on dry land. Experts say that dolphins are known to protect their young from shark attacks regularly, so it's likely that they sense danger for the young family and swept into action. Clever animals. Number 5, Early Morning Swim. One morning when Wall Street banker Krishna Thompson and his wife were spending their 10-year anniversary in the Bahamas, Thompson decided to go for an early morning swim before his wife awoke. Swimming not too far away from shore, he suddenly felt something grab him by the leg. Turning, he was faced by a great white shark. He repeatedly punched the shark in the face until it finally let go and allowed him to swim back to shore with his mangled leg. Crawling onto the beach, Thompson managed to get the attention of some people passing by and drew the number of his hotel room in the sand before passing out. Now that's smart. He was flown via air travel to a nearby hospital and while he lost his leg, he pulled through and was able to stay alive. Amazingly, Thompson now works as a marine advocate educating people about the real facts about sharks so they don't believe the Hollywood rumors. Number 4, Honeymoon Disaster. Just 10 days after getting married, British honeymooners Ian and Gemma Redmond we're enjoying a tropical beach vacation in Seychelles when all of a sudden tragedy struck. 30-year-old Ian Redmond was snorkeling just 20 yards off the shore while his new wife sunbathed on the beach. Redmond was attacked by a shark which bit off one arm and destroyed one of his legs also. It is thought that Redmond passed away instantly though he was quickly pulled from the water into a boat and a doctor on the beach applied first aid until emergency medical crews arrived. Redmond's hysterical new wife was restrained strained by the crowds of people on the beach while workers attempted to save her husband. Number 3, National Geographic. In April 2012, a production crew for the National Geographic channel was filming the reality TV show Shark Men off the coast of South Africa. Reportedly, they were attracting sharks to the area by dumping gallons of fish parts or chum into the water. The production company had permits for chumming and filming, however, just a few days after chumming the waters, a local 20 year old bodyboarder champion named David Lienfeld was killed by 13 to 16 foot shark in waters that had not previously seen shark activity since 1999. Local residents were outraged and the show's research permit was immediately revoked. The show at Sharkman continues to receive criticism and has since been cancelled. Number 2, Feeding Frenzy. Omar Conger was a free diving hunter. He was one of four victims during a mini feeding frenzy in 1984 near Santa Cruz, California. Conger and his diving partner Chris Rim were a long way from shore, nearly 500 feet 
feet or 150 meters and about 15 feet or 4.4 meters apart when he took a moment to tread water and rest. Out of nowhere, a huge great white shark grabbed Conger, shook him, and pulled him under. A few seconds later, the shark surfaced with Conger still in his mouth and headed straight for his buddy Rem. The big fish released Conger when he was close to Rem and then it suddenly disappeared. Rem pulled his friend onto a flotation mat and brought him back to shore only to find out that Conger had already lost his life from the massive blood loss. The wounds to Conger's legs and hands indicate that the Great White was roughly 16 feet or 5 meters long. Wow. Number 1. Navy Disaster The US Navy cruiser USS Indianapolis was sunk in a matter of minutes by Japanese torpedoes near Guam on July 30th, 1945. Roughly 900 sailors of the 1196 aboard made it into the water with only their life vests. As if the situation wasn't already bad enough, sharks came around when the sun rose the following morning. The crew was absolutely helpless against the hungry man-eaters. Four days later, the remaining survivors were discovered by an overhead bomber plane. A seaplane was sent to the site and landed to begin the rescue effort after seeing the Indianapolis survivors being attacked by sharks. Out of the 900 that made it into the water, only 317 survived, marking the worst ever maritime disaster in US Navy history. It's actually not known how many sailors died from shark attacks, exposure, or thirst.